friends in this video i will tell you how to make your own extension yes how to make your own extension using python so let's get started so first we have to make a file or a variable name as i am taking it as file because a file or a variable name will proceed our further program then we'll write our further program as open and then we'll write our custom extension name like i am writing not coder ayan dot code because I am a programmer, so I will write dot code extension. So as I'll write dot code, it will take it, and then I have to write further program like f apostrophe and w. Then in second line, I'll write all my content that I want in the document. So let's proceed to the second line, and I'll write file dot write. And bracket, and then I write that not code Ryan here. What about you? That and this line will occur in the file extension when we'll open it. So after writing this, we'll proceed to next line. We'll proceed to the next line where we'll do file dot close file dot close this will ensure that the file has been closed file dot close bracket and then to ensure the program has been executed we will write print program running successfully that will ensure that the program has run successfully and now we can test the file so after writing program running successfully we'll check out the program and the file extension that we have created so let's see so i'll run the file now in the vs code itself but many of many people use cmd for the same but i am using vs code run function run and debug so you can also use run and debug but if your python has the path for the cmd you can also use that so i run and you can clearly see here it's lagging a bit yes now it will occur programming see programming running successfully and uh, the file has been created below the main.py and when we'll open this file the content will come that hello not coder ran here what about you so let's open this as we'll click see hello not put a yarn here what about you and for instance was a see there's a notification that dot code here's also a code file has been occurred so this was a tutorial how to make your own personal extension that you can run on notepad vs code and many other apps so thank you for watching this video and meet you in the next video bye bye